What? Guess what I just played last night for the first time in like a month. What did you play for the first time in a long time since last month? Baldur's Gate 3. Hey, there you go. I actually got Andrew on to play. <laughs> and uh, he played. He started a four-man <laughs> with uh, me and Swag and Argo, who's now back in town. So Nice. Since Argo's back in town, I'm going to be playing more Baldur's Gate 3 again. Hell yeah. Kick ass, dude. I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that, you know, you're having fun playing games and stuff like that again. And also, it's good that Andrew's getting involved with you a little bit on there. Mm-hmm. I'm di- I'm dying to get Micah involved playing a game of Baldur's Gate. Trying to get him... That would be kick ass. Well, yeah. Like, get him a PlayStation 5 and just, like, let him go. And then, the thing pro- about PlayStation 5 is that you have to pay Sony for online to be able to play it with anybody. So. Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, we could probably give him one of the PCs here and just let him, you know, let him play on that. Yeah, you could always borrow the VR machine since we haven't been using it. Yeah, you could borrow the monster. It could definitely be a thing. But, yeah. Either way, though, four halfling barbarians. We watched part one, and it was awesome. We watched part two, and it was awesome. Now we're at part three. And, I mean, these little bastards. I think that should be their their (laughs) troop name. These little bastards. These little bastards are on a rampage, and... There's no stopping them. You you can only run. <laughs> oh god, someone I forget who said it. It's like it's like, "Hey man, what do you say to a man in a wheelchair wearing camouflage?" You can hide, but you can't run. Just kind of messed up considering my granddad, who was a paraplegic, did actually have a camo jacket that he used to wear all the time. And I never, I wish I could have told him that because he'd have died laughing. He'd have probably fallen out of his chair. Would have been the first time him doing him, him laughing his <laughs> ass off. He keeled over one time when Norse, his older brother, uh, like slipped on the kitchen floor and fell flat on his ass and just went just went son of a bitch god damn ah <laughs> and then my granddad was like in the like like about fell on the floor like literally he was keeled over the side of his wheelchair and he like had his hand on the floor trying not to fall over <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh uh that i remember that that was when the uh, later that day, that's when we found out that my aunt Glenda was pregnant with Hannah, uh, my my uh, younger cousin on my uh, mom's side. God, that was that was almost. Oh, I just hurt my brain. As twenty six years ago. God, I'm old, dude. I'm old as hell. Same. Anyway, yeah. So um, <clears throat> this is a. Four Halfling Barbarians, Part 2. And, uh, I guess we're gonna see the level of insanity that these dudes get up to. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Shindelrin's shithouse. You see it. Huh? Cops. <laughs> Clan, grab your gear, wipe your asses. Suddenly, you feel an unfamiliar weight amongst your... <laughs> a curious multi-sided up <laughs> Son of a bitch. God damn it. He <laughs> sense something inside it. <laughs> If you hadn't guessed, it's incredibly important to the main story. <laughs> I can guess that. A friendly face. Egg. 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 I can offer you an egg in this trying time. Easy there, DeVito. 
<laughs> That's enough. Where are you taking? Silence. Get <laughs> 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 a cat at the rigo. Spoilers? Not really. Okay. I was about to say you're about to have a major thing spoiled for you. Very well. <laughs> so, I don't intend to make a habit of conversing with my killer. Now leave. To your death, then. Okay? Okay, maybe not. Maybe he's not gonna spoil it. Damn. Ornate mace hovers before you. Taking this mace would surely lead to something quite disastrous. Yeah. Wink. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. I'm gonna take this mace. I was gonna say, I'm gonna take this mace. Don't you take that mace? I'm gonna take this mace. What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna smash your fucking face. <laughs> Everything is in motion. All the enemy's walls are doomed to destruction. Good. Really? Rocks. <laughs> rocks. It was just rocks. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. He was just like rocks. Rocks. <laughs> and. No, don't do. Oh, who am I kidding? To blow up I live for shit. this shit. <laughs> oh, I'm going to blow everything up. Everybody dies. I'm gonna have to tell you something at the end of this video because it's almost over that I think is gonna blow your mind, by the way. Okay. I just. I... Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> yes. So technically, me and Argo came backwards from Act Two and did that part. Oh God. But congratulations. That's Act One. That's Act One. Yep. Damn. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, Damn. That's only Act One of the game that he's shown in all three parts so far. The game is massive, man. I believe you. And uh, Act Three is the longest act. Jesus. With the most content. I mean, te technically, if you do it in a way that you're exploring everything and trying to wrap up all the story threads, you could probably actually just main story rush the game and get done a lot quicker. But yeah. Mm. So mainly he's shown up. So like the Goblin Camp is like the first like major like story uh, point of Act One after leaving the tutorial, and then from there you have the choice of either going over the mountain pass, which lands you where he was at just now, or through the Underdark, which I think he covered in Part Two. I think he did, yeah. Um, so I believe they did the same thing me and Argo did, which is go through the Underdark, and then we doubled back to do the Githyanki crash. Jesus. Um, but basically, that's all the areas in Act 1. And it's a lot of stuff. It was crazy to me, actually, getting to the Underdark, seeing how big the Underdark was after seeing the overworld map we'd been on the whole time, and being like, we're still in Act 1? What the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn. Crazy shit. That, I think Act 2 crazy. is probably the smallest, though, because as far as I remember, Act 2 is confined to pretty much a singular area. It's a big area, but it is a singular area. And I get you. Act 3 is when you actually get to Baldur's Gate, and Baldur's Gate is very large. Jesus. Big McLarge, huge. Huge McLarge, dude. Mm -hmm. I get you. Well, that was Four Halfling Barbarians by Okoy. Um... Uh, I know he's going to continue this, and when he does, we'll be there. I mean, we hope I might that... even still be playing Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> yes. And hopefully by then, me and Micah will have joined in some way. Have you heard about the Golden Joystick Awards, by the way? No. Baldur's Gate 3 won a fuck ton of them. Good. Yeah, like a lot of them. <laughs> well... It was, if it wasn't Baldur's Gate 3, it was mostly Signalis. Hmm. Fair enough. Oh, actually, no, wait. Signalos, I'm thinking of a different one. Signalos won a lot at the Horror Awards, which I thought was very cool. They did a Horror Awards. It was a cool vibe. Nice. <clears throat> uh, it was either Signalis or RD4 at the Horror Awards, pretty much. Okay. Well, anyway, I guess that's going to do it. So f be, feel free to check out more from Okoy. And if you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. You know the whole rig and roll. And until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace. Down, down.